everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Wow, I sound really excited and I'm not very excited to tell these stories with you guys. <laughs> They're very, very personal to me and they're really just, they're just awkward to say the least. They're just very, very awkward. And I'm sorry if I make you feel very uncomfortable, but that's just who I am. So most of you guys know me as Swolisi from Instagram. <laughs> Give me a follow on there if you are not already. And also hit the subscribe button down below to get new videos. I know, I'm just self-advertising right now. <laughs> okay, anyways, but in high school, my nickname was actually called Awkward Amber, and there is a big reason for that. I was just extremely awkward in high school. Like, I didn't know how to gauge a conversation. I didn't know how to end a conversation, and that's just who I was, and that's still who I am today. So if you meet me in person, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna be, it's gonna either be a really great time or a very awkward time, so I apologize all on me. I'm just really bad <laughs> at people skills. So when people talk about awkward, you know those cliche sayings like that awkward moment when the ticket movie theater guy hands you your ticket and he says, enjoy your movie. And you say, you too. Ha ha ha. So awkward, right? No, that's not awkward. <laughs> you know what's awkward is when you order a poke bowl and then the cashier gives you your Poke Bowl and says, enjoy your meal, ma'am. And you say, thank you, you too. But then you don't stop. And then you realize what you did and you try to cover your tracks. And you say, oh wait, never mind. You're not eating, you're working. I'm the one that's eating. So no thank you. And then just stare at her for like a good solid 10 seconds like this and then realize what you did again, and then slowly back away. And that's right. Yep, that's the kind of level of awkward I'm on. And this actually happened last week, <laughs> for real. So that's just a small story to kind of gauge you guys on like how awkward, how socially awkward I am. So anyways, let's start with a awkward story about me. So imagine, this in high school, 17 years old, I think I was 17, maybe 16, 16 years old, I think it was the beginning of junior year, and it was around the time of homecoming, and I had like the biggest crush on like one of our star players on the football team. Now I'm not gonna say any names because maybe some of those people in high school are still watching my videos, I don't know. But if you guys, they probably already know. <laughs> they, never mind. Anyways, yep, it's the cliche story. Weird girl likes the uh, jock. And yeah, so anyways, I had, I had two classes with him. One was in the morning, it was math class. And then the second one was after lunch during art. Now, I had my friend and I told her about like how I thought he was cute and I liked him and I wanted him to ask me to homecoming, you know, and she was like, oh yeah, why don't you just start a conversation with him, you know, find something like common interests that you guys can talk about. And I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's a great idea. I can do that. So in math class, I was sitting like on one side of the room and he was like four chairs down, like on this side of the room. And then we have to face we have to face forward, right? So the chalkboard is right here and the teacher's teaching over there. And then I would constantly just go like this. And then just stare at him for like a good solid like five minutes and then just like look back down on my paper and then do it again. And one time he actually caught me and he goes, <laughs> like what the fuck are you doing? Like Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? I I immediately was like, oh fuck, oh no, oh no, did he, did he see me? And so um, I like turned bright pink and bright red. And I was like, oh no, you better have not saw me. Like this is, this is embarrassing. That is not the awkward part. During lunch, I told my friend, I was like, hey, like I accidentally like 
was staring at him and like he caught me staring at him. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make a conversation about like that. And then she was like, oh no, just be yourself. You know, you're cool, you're fun. You just, just talk to like normal people, like how you would talk to me. And I was like, okay, okay, I can do that. I was like, can you help me? We're, I, we're in the same class together, all three of us. And then she was like, oh yeah, yeah, definitely I can help you. Because they are really good friends, her and the guy I like. I was kind of like the odd one out. Anyways, we were in art class and he was sitting in front of me and she was sitting on the side of me. And again, of course, I was staring, like always. I just kept a draw and like look up at him and then draw again and then look up. It's like maybe, maybe he might stare back at me, you know? Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Like, is that is that how you flirt? I don't know. I don't know how to flirt. And so my friend, she like nudges me like, hey, psst, start a conversation, you know? So I was like, okay, I can do this. And I was like, Whew. like the inside of me, I was like, Whew. okay, oh, I can do this. This is normal. It's like a person, just another person that I like and is cute. So I was thinking in my head, what should I talk about? I should talk about football because he's a football player. I should talk about sports because I like sports too. And then I blurted out, I wasn't staring at you earlier today. I was staring at the wall behind you. And then he looks up and goes, Okay. That's weird. And then continues to draw. And I was like, oh my God. And then you could just see my friend. She was like, Amber, what is wrong with you? Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? And I was just like, uh, <laughs> uh, can I go to the bathroom, teacher? <laughs> and so I like went into the bathroom and like I looked inside the mirror and my face was like bright red and I was just so embarrassed and I was like, oh wow, he's not gonna like me. I'm so weird. And I don't know, I'm just like a weird stalker girl who just like, I don't know. And so I like spent like five minutes in the bathroom trying to like not hyperventilate <laughs> and I come back and then yeah, it was just an awkward encounter ever since, you know, um, that's pretty much, that's one of my stories for you guys. On a scale of like one to 10 on how awkward that was, please rate it down below because I thought that was like a level seven awkwardness, you know, there's has, there has been more awkward times and like extremely awkward times that I might get into. If you guys like these stories, please give a thumbs up and then I'll definitely tell a lot more of my awkward stories. Might as well just change my name channel to Awkward Amber, you know? Thank you guys for watching. I also want to know your awkward stories because I love awkward stories. So leave it in the comments below um, and just give me all the weird details. I might feature you, your guys' stories and rate the awkwardness on my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!